Mofongo's Kitchen, and here we go. It's Mofongo time. For those of us that follow us on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook at Michael's Kitchen, uh, we'll put some description here of which each one of those names is. Um, but that said, we put a video of Mofongo. I was, I was having lunch, and I tried this recipe out, and I said, yeah, it's going to be a video. It was that good. Everywhere I go, I have Mofongo. My, my wife can attest to it. Everywhere I go, I have Mofongo. If it's on the menu, it's, I have a phone call. If, if there's beef brisket at a smoke shop, I'm going to have the beef brisket, which I'm going to make one, one of these days in my, in my smoker. But that said, everywhere I go, I have my phone call. And some places get it good, but 80% of the time, places get it like crap. They'll do uh, mangu, a mangu, which is not a mofongo. A traditional mofongo is deep fried plantains or fried plantains mashed together with, with an ingredient. Uh, some places will do that with the mash the plantains and then they'll put shrimp on top which is fine for, for those people that, that want to order that but a traditional mofongo has everything in, you know mashed together with the star of the show mashed together and the all important garlic right you, you, you can't have a mofongo without garlic so here's what we got i got the plantains ready to go and i've chopped them up you'll see me chop up one so you can see that i've got the onions going that are already being uh, marinated in vinegar and goyo adobo. I got the pilon, which you guys saw me use on what video? On Dominican dinner, on a few other videos. So we'll put a link up here for that pilon where, where you see me using before. I've got lime wedges chopped up. I've got chicken broth ready to go. And these are the plantains that I, that I diced up here. And then you guys saw an, another video we did where we did chicharron de cerdo, which is deep fried pork belly. Um, and it's not deep fried pork belly. If you see, if you see that video, it, it was rendered down in its own fat and it just uh, ended up frying it itself. That's what I've got here. I'm gonna get to the oven warmed up um, real quick. Got the oil preheated and we're ready to go. So follow along as you make this mofongo for tonight's dinner. So same concept as our totone or charon de pollo that we do with totones. Same concept, only you're slicing it. I'll get nice and close so you can see that. And of course, since we've got another one here, I'll get nice and close so you can see that. That's the thickness you want. You're doing this thick or this thin versus the thick totones, because the totones you fry and then you mash to this consistency. Now I'm not gonna mash them, so I'm gonna do them this size. So I've got two plantains already sliced up. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up number three. And you guys can see the consistency I'm doing that. And I love that the, the, the one stays on the blade, so I make them basically all the same size. God, I'm getting, normally I do this and I do a little beat in my head so that I'm doing a little song. The missus will edit out, my, the missus will edit out all my talking. I do a lot of talking in these videos and they, they always make it, like my executive producer says, on the cutting room floor. Now it's time to get the, the plantains ready. That said, shout out to Mr. Moya. We see your comments down there. And I think I, if I don't butcher your name, Alfani, thank you for commenting. Thank you for your support. Keep it coming because, I mean, it's what gives us ideas. That said, here we go. So plantains to the oil. So these have been in here for a few minutes. I'm just waiting for them to get golden brown. When they are golden brown, it's time for them to come out and get the next batch going. So I'm going to take my trusty spider, rinse off or let drain off as much as I can. And also important when frying, when frying, make sure that you season it as soon as it comes out of the fryer. Look, when I wasn't recording, they were all jumping into my spider. Now that I'm recording, they're fighting me. <laughs> You guys, you guys have got to ask her to put the blooper one up because there's, there's, there's a 40-minute a blooper video that you guys will be laughing your tail off. I've got them out. I've got my next batch in. Garlic salt. Taking out my okay. infamous garlic salt. A little bit in there and give it a quick toss. And again, as I add in here, I will put more garlic salt in here and toss them up. So I've got my last batch of plantains going. As I see my oils ready for my onions, so I'm gonna take my marinated onions and vinegar and, and adobo, and I put them into the 
pan there. And again, we're just trying to sweat out the onion. So they're going to sit there for just a few minutes, maybe five minutes while it finishes up. So the onions have been going, what, for five minutes tops? Just until they get to Spanish say, I'm a Maria. But anyways, we'll get these ready and we'll pour these into our container here until we need them for serving. Smells so good. And again, that was just vinegar, a little bit of oil, marinated in the vinegar and Goya dough. Time to build more fongo. So here we go. I'll take three or four of the plantains. I'll take one cube pork chunk of chicharron. I'll take the garlic, put that in there and just start mashing away. Pardon the noise. So I'll mash away and I'll continue to add, but just so you guys can see, that's what it's supposed to look like in there. So that's everything combined and incorporated, and I'll keep on adding more bits. So again, two or three plantains. As you guys can see, I have a spoon around. The spoon is so I can take off, I'm not sure we can see that, take off the side and put back in the middle to start crushing. And you can see the garlic's combined, the pork is combined, the plantains are combined. I'm telling you, it's just perfect. And then I'll, I'll keep on mashing away. I do have some chicken broth. So if this was dry, I would be adding chicken broth on there, but it's, it's moist enough because my chicharron is perfect. Once smashed, I'll add again two or three plantains. I'll add one piece of pork and continue on. So I'm done combining all my ingredients. So here's the fun part. Take your pilon and just lightly compress everything in there. Then go around the edge with your spoon. Go around the edge just so it releases its suction to the base. Then Take your serving plate, which we decided was going to be this one here. And lastly, tip over your pilon, and there's your mofongo. Mm -hmm. Time to plate up. So I've got those onions I put on there. I'm gonna top that. Well, I'm gonna mix it up to get a good, good, a good dose. And then I will put that on top. And then some people enjoy a nice little wedge on the side. And I like to do a piece of pork or two because some places will do chicharron de longaniza. There's my plate ready to enjoy. So time to see the fruits of our labor, or better yet, taste the fruits of our labor. So I'm going to go ahead and Get some of these pickled onions that were marinated in, in that vinegar and uh, then sauteed in the oil. We'll take some of our wonderful mofongo, which is the garlic was a little feisty today, so we'll see how that all turns out. We'll put the onions on top of there and for a nice little bite. Well, I can hear the crunchiness here. Chicharron. You know what really upsets me is that is like an 11 out of 10 as far as my, uh, when it comes to mofongo. How can a restaurant that makes money making mofongo not do it this good? This is freaking phenomenal. While I'm here, I may as well check out the other part that was in there, and that's the chicharron, the, the cerdo. Put some lime on there. Oh my God. I mean, Wow. Wow, I didn't save my napkins. Wow. That's good. That said, if you liked the video, like the video. Comment down below if you want us to try any recipes in particular. Subscribe for more content. And that said, a buen tiempo. <laughs> I'm going back in. <laughs>